extract that information and make a, a playable MP4 file that can be played in iTunes. So what we have from our previous movie, we've essentially taken RIP, used RIP it to build um, files for ourselves. And those files, we're going to take a quick look at those files. They're in my uh, ripped folder here from DVDs that, I, uh, that I've purchased. And the one we're going to take a look at is the, uh, the, the Hard 8 here, right below Groundhog Day. And what I've got from Rip It is I've essentially have a DVD player media document that's about, uh, about 4 gigabytes. So what I want to do in this situation is I want to extract information from this DVD to take a movie file that I can essentially play on my uh, iPad if I want to, iPhone, on my uh, personal network, just so I have it more accessible than something just sitting around um, at home in a case. So I can just click a button and I can actually see what I want. So what I'm going to get is I'm actually telling Handbrake to burn these movie files into, a, uh, into my iTunes media folder. And I've got a movies folder and it's going to show up here inside of, uh, inside of the list. So when I do run Handbrake, I essentially am going to find my movie file um, located inside of this folder. And that's where I'm telling it to rip. And we're going to go back to this in a, uh, in a second. So I've ripped basically my, my Hard 8 uh, film that I want to watch. with, uh, And I want to punch on source. So I've launched Handbrake here. And once it is launched, and this is a free program that you can download for your, uh, for your Macintosh, is I'm going to click on source. And source is basically going to find those ripped um, DVD files, those you know four or eight gig files that I've uh, that I've went ahead and ripped from the CDs. So are the DVDs. So what I have here is my Hard 8 film. So I'm going to select the Hard 8 and I'm going to go ahead and notice that's about four gigabytes. So I'm going to click open. And what happens when that opens is it finds your video information. Now, Hard 8 is a very basically straightforward DVD, so it doesn't have a lot of um, extra information. So up here in my drop-down menu, I noticed that I've got one hour, 45 minutes, 28 seconds. And I know since the length of that, and I only have one, that that's the movie that I want. And the destination that's going to rip to is my iTunes Media Movies Hard 8 file. And I've also set up some settings here for myself. I went into picture settings and I did a deinterlace um, under filters here because I found that that's a little bit better when it is ripped to play on your uh, to play on your Apple TV. It comes with some really nice presets. So if you have the first Apple t first gen Apple TV, you'd use this one. The second generation, you'd use Apple TV too. Um, I have the first gen, so I just did the preset here and I modified that to include uh, deinterlace. Um, once I have that, I basically built a preset. So that's the filters that I'm running, a deinterlace, a denoise, and, and those informations down at the bottom. And I have my output set, what I, uh, what I need, and I am basically set that up to rip. And it's going to rip it to an MP4 file. Um, if I were to select something else here for my dropdown, let's say if I went into rip and I select maybe Goodwill Hunting here, clipped open, um, it's going to scan that new source, and in this case, Goodwill Hunting, it has deleted scenes and, and whatnot. It's a special edition DVD. So you might find a number of um, extra information here. You might, there's going to be videos for the intro video. Um, every piece of video that's um, gathered in that um, movie files on side of your DVD, you're going to find it here. Typically, your movie is going to be at the very top here. But some of these others, you'll have to look and see what the time is and say this two minute one, I've got three minutes, two minutes. These could be deleted scenes. These could be featurettes or what have you. You can rip those too and, and save them and just rename them here to whatever you want. Um, I'm really just interested in taking that movie file. So that's what I want. So once it is ripped, I'm going to jump back into, and you basically just add it to your queue. Once you find it, your source, you add that source to your queue, and your queue is down here. 
and you can add multiple ones. You can rip, you know, four or five uh, DVDs, um, have them all, uh, have them all running through the handbrake, and list them here in your drop-down menu, which is fine. Once that's finished, in order for iTunes to play, what I found is you have to go back into your movies file. I told it to rip to my iTunes movie folder, and I need to find that ripped movie file. And what happens is it shows up as an icon like this, like hard8.m4v. What I have to do in order for this to show up in iTunes, because initially it's not going to show up here. We do not see that actual movie here. So I have to jump back here, and I have to actually double-click on that hard eight file and by double clicking it automatically turns this into a folder icon and it launches iTunes and it automatically starts to play that movie. I'm going to close out of that movie and I'll notice now here it is. It shows up in iTunes right here with hard eight. That's the movie I want to so I can just click on the movie go back into uh, get info Find my, uh, find my album artwork that I had saved previously down to my uh, downloads folder here. Locate the album artwork. Click open and click OK. And now that's going to show up. So now it's an in internal network. I can play this movie file um, as I deem fit. So that's how you use utilize Handbrake here to essentially get what you want, get your movies from the uh, ripped content from Rip It, and extract the necessary information and have those play properly into iTunes.